Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Upal, located in Hamilton, which actually I'm going to start saying where I am if I can, I think, or if I remember rather, because I've had a couple people ask where cars are. So this is in Hamilton, Ontario, at Kenny Upal, and what this is, is a 1977 Ford Thunderbird in front of me. Now this one here, actually looks like it was in really good shape overall until someone did this to it. As you can see, it does have a rubber and fiberglass front end. I guess that's good because it can't rust out. <laughs> Doesn't do much for the body, but this body is actually in surprisingly good shape. As you can see though, this fender is, this, oh, not fender, frame is a little bit bent. And if we look under the hood, we've got a 351M slash 400. So that would be a 400 big block under the hood. It would have had an Edelbrock carburetor on it. And actually, this is a really nicely specced out car. It's got these patches on it, but the person honestly did give a good try to keep it going. As you can see, it has the brown interior with the cream exterior. It's actually kind of a two-tone exterior. Actually, no, it's not. It's just got patches on it. They were probably planning on repainting the whole thing. It says 75,000 kilometers on it, or 74,000 rather, but I'm sure it has more than that. It does have the original Ford radio. Mike's heating and home comfort. I didn't know I had a heating company. Why am I, why am I not rich? And this is the two-door Thunderbird. Actually, I think all Thunderbirds are two-door if I'm not mistaken. But underneath of it is in actually really good shape. It's rear end is taken out. Someone probably cut it out. It probably had a nine inch rear end. So obviously someone probably with a GM product wanted it because GM can't make a rear end and they always rely on Fords. But it's been oil sprayed. You can see that much. All kinds of plugs everywhere. It had a partial vinyl top. The front was vinyl, but not the back. Kind of different, but it's kind of nice. But I love the glass all the way around. Makes for a very, very easy to see out of car. <laughs> and in the trunk we have, wow, that is solid. That's really solid. I'm impressed. Taillights are in great shape. Does someone need Thunderbird taillights? This side here has a bit more scabbing on it, but not too bad, really. And I think this had a... Okay, this vinyl cover was here too at one point, it looks like, because it has this trim, this trim. So I think I have vinyl here and here at one point. But, obviously the vinyl's gone off that. Oh, I love that sound. Not that one. The opening and closing, it sounds so good, I love it. Here's the wheels from the car. Yeah, this would have had steel wheels. And the little gills on the side, or fender vents rather. I like to call them gills. <laughs> And then we're back to under the hood, and uh, it's the 400 big block under here, I believe, and well, this was, I think, actually, I think this, I can't remember what year the fuel crisis was in now, um, sometime in the 70s. This might have been the last of the powerful 400, and, uh, or it might have, it was either the last of the powerful 400, or the beginning of the powerless 400. But yeah, this one here, it's uh, it's pretty good shape actually. The frame, aside from that being torn out from the impact, the frame's in excellent condition. These fenders, the bottoms are, that's all metal still. 
I'm quite impressed with how rust free this is. Maybe it does only have 75,000 almost or ish kilometers on it. Bottom of the doors have a bit of rust, but that's all savable still. But for a 77, it looks to have original paint and well, I guess I could have looked right here. 400 V8. But it's in excellent shape for its age. Just too bad someone had an accident with it. But, um, yeah, it is what it is, guys. And I mean, accidents do happen, but this kind of car, I would have loved to see it restored. And it looks like it was well on its way to someone fixing it up. But, uh, oh well. Thanks for watching, though. If you like this video, please hit that like button, as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.